Hello and welcome. My name is Nate from Predictive Engineering and what I want to do in this video is just show a quick uh, example of how to do a FAA analysis using NX Advanced Simulation. And what you can see here is we have a solid beam that's uh, two inches wide by ten inches long by half an inch thick. And to do a basic analysis on this, what we want to do is activate the advanced simulation application from the start menu. And what you see there here is the simulation navigator becomes active and then there's also a simulation file view. And I'm going to go ahead and close the simulation file view. What we do now is we just right click on the advanced simulation example and we want to select a new FEM and simulation. And you can see here uh, the new FEM and simulation dialog box. Uh, we're going to create the FEM file and the simulation file. We're going to associate it to the master part and we're going to select the body to include and we'll go ahead and click OK. And that brings up the uh, solution dialog box and let's go ahead and give this a name and just hit OK to accept the defaults there. And this takes us into the simulation file and we need to create a mesh on this part and we're going to do that in the FEM file. So go ahead and double click on the FEM file. And from the advanced simulation toolbar I'm going to select 3D tetrahedral mesh. I'm going to go ahead and select the body we're going to do an element size of one inch and we'll hit OK. And the mesher will go ahead and mesh that part. And the next thing we need to do is assign a material to the part. So let's select the body again. Uh, we're going to hit the assign materials button, select the body, and we scroll down, just select a steel material. Okay, now that we've created our mesh and we've assigned a material, uh, what we want to do is switch back to the simulation file where we can define our boundary conditions. From the window menu, I'm going to select the advanced simulation examples sim file. And we can go ahead and start applying our boundary conditions by constraining the part. I'm going to do a new user defined constraint and this is going to be a simply supported beam. So what I'm going to do here is on this bottom edge I'm going to fix it in the Z direction. Apply that there so you can see now that, that edge has been constrained and the next thing I'm going to do on this back face is I'm going to fix that in the X direction and we'll hit apply and then the last thing we need to do to stabilize the model is just on this point here we're going to fix that in the remaining uh, degree of freedom the Y okay now we've applied our constraints let's go ahead and load up the model uh, we're going to apply a pressure load to the top surface and I'm going to enter a value of 10 pounds per square inch and we'll hit OK. Now you can see that load has been applied from the little graphic display here. And now that we've got our boundary conditions we can go ahead and solve the model. So from the advanced simulation toolbar I'm going to hit the solve button. I'm going to hit OK and you'll see a bunch of different windows pop up uh, there'll be a solution monitor, uh, the analysis job monitor, and there'll be a information uh, window. And when the uh, analyst job monitor says it's complete, we can go ahead and close all these windows, and we can take a look at the results. Go ahead and double click the results from the simulation navigator. And what we can do is we can take a look at the uh, solid balmesis stress. 
And if we take a look, this looks uh, as we would expect. Uh, we've got, you know, high stress on top and bottom and about zero, zero in the middle. And we can do a couple things to clean up the view here. We can remove the uh, element edges and we can show the undeformed model. And what we're doing with this model is we're taking advantage of symmetry uh, to model this simply supported beam. And that wraps up this uh, just quick example of how to generate a mesh and apply boundary conditions and solve a solid model. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more information about NX Advanced Simulation, please visit us on the web at predictiveengineering.com.